I'm showing you how to get Meteor Client for 1.20.6. To get Meteor, you want to head over to their official website, MeteorClient.com. This is going to be linked down in the description below. Together, are actually with my Discord server, which I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here you'll be able to find the downloads if you scroll down a little bit, and you'll be able to find the dev build, which is currently for 1.20.6. As you can see, there is no full release for 1.20.6 yet. If there is, by the time you're watching this, I highly recommend you download that because it's a lot more stable. Currently, we only have an unstable version, which should still work fine anyways. So you can click on that to download it and the download will start after you wait for 5 seconds. Now to be able to use Meteor, you do actually need Fabric installed for 1.20.6. If you don't have it yet or you're not sure how to get it, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, continuing, as you can see here in my downloads, I have the Meteor Client Jar, which is great. And I can press on Windows and R at the same time and that's going to open up this little box. I can type in a percentage sign, app data and then another percentage sign just like so then I can hit enter or click on OK and that should bring me over to this folder right over here or actually this one either way you want to make sure that you're in the folder called roaming then go into dot minecraft you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder inside the mods folder you can simply drag the meteor client file just like so once you've done that, you should be absolutely fine. Now, if you don't actually have a mods folder, then what you should just be able to do is right click and create one for yourself. Just make sure you spell it correctly and also make sure that you do actually have fabric installed. Anyways, now we can simply open up the Minecraft launcher. Here in the Minecraft launcher, make sure that you have a fabric for 1.20.6 selected. And if you do, we can play. So here I have Minecraft 1.20.6 with Meteor Client. As you can see, we already got the watermark in the top there. Anyways, now I'll just quickly head into a world and show you how to use it. In terms of usage, I'm just going to briefly show you how to get started. If you want a full in-depth tutorial that literally covers everything, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, also, I would like to say, if you enjoy content like this, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Anyways, to open up the menu, you want to press on right shift. Um, basically, it's kind of that simple and you'll get this module area over here. Um, this is called the click GUI and basically all these things here are the utilities. Um, this one actually allows you to scroll so don't miss out on some important stuff down there. You can click on these utilities and that is going to enable them. You'll see that they're highlighted very subtly and you can click on them once again and that is actually going to disable them. Now as you can see this one over here is automatically enabled. You can of course disable it if you do wish to do so. You can search for specific utilities through this area right over here. Now uh, you can actually right click on most of these as well and that is going to give you a little bit of a customization menu for um, that specific utility. Some of them will have more customization than others and also different types of customization. Now let's take uh, one of these for example, let's go flight, right? I can hover above this and that is going to give me a brief description of what the utility allows me to do. Right clicking on this I have, as I said, the customization menu. Now. Probably the most important part of this menu is this bind area. As you can see, for most of these, the customization menu also allows you to set a key bind for this. I can, for example, set G, and now, as you can see, we've set flight to G, meaning that instead of having to go into here and click on it, I can simply press on G, and that is going to enable or then disable that module. And lastly, in this customization menu, you can also actually favorite these modules by clicking on the little star over there. Anyways, we you'll see that there are a few more things up the top over here. We can go over to config. This just allows you to um, set the look and feel basically of the client itself. The GUI area, which allows you to customize the general user interface of this client. Then we have the HUD area, which is the heads up display. Basically, as you can see, when you click on this, you'll notice a few things appear in Minecraft. The Meteor Client watermark thing over here is some 
nice information down there and some coordinates information over here in the bottom right hand side too. Now you can click on active over here and that's going to activate that meaning if I close out of there I now have the GUI on my screen which uh, in definitely uh, some situations that can be really useful. You can actually also edit this as you can see you can drag around things um, if you use that edit button and you can actually also add a bunch of modules too if you do wish to do so. Anyways, moving over to friends in this tab, you can basically just um, add custom friends. This is going to be internal for a Meteor client. All you need to do is enter their gamer tag right over there. In the macros area, you can create and set up macros. And then finally, in the profiles area, you can create a profile. What this profile is going to do just like this, for example, you can create a profile for a specific server or maybe um, survival. You get the idea. Then you can customize all these modules, um, maybe enable these two, customize this one so that it has a specific configuration. And then you can save that with these profiles. You can load them depending on what you're doing. You can also share them or download them from other people online. Just watch out with downloading stuff, of course. Um, anyways, basically, that was it for the click GUI area. Um, there is actually one more big thing, though. As you can see earlier, we got this message in the chat. And the cool thing is, is that Meteor Client, just like many other clients, support commands. Similar to regular Minecraft, where you would type slash give, just like so, Meteor Client uses, instead of the slash, the dot to be able to type in commands. As you can see, we're already getting a list of commands over here. I can type dot help in the chat, and that's going to give me um, a list of all the commands. As you can see, there's 37 of them. We can hover above them just like so, and that is basically going to give you, well, a brief description, as you can see. So I can type in, for example, dot binds, and that is going to show us that we have one bind set up, and that is at flight is set to G in this case. You can of course mess around with all of these once again hovering above them tells you what they do. Anyways, basically that was kind of it for right now. Um, once again, the in-depth usage tutorial is linked down in the description below. But for right now, thank you ever so much for watching and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.